Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313, and today I have something pretty neat to show you. This that I have in front of me right here is an item elevator. Um, basically what it does is, uh, well first you can put your items in here. Hold on, let me go ahead and uh, just throw some redstone in there. I'm just going to throw a whole stack. And then of course you would you would replace this, that way it works. And then if you were to press this lever, some redstone that goes off, and as you can see, the pistons alternate, making kind of an elevator thing. And then the final piston pushes it outwards. And as you can see, I got all 64 of my redstone back, so pretty awesome. Um, I have had that happen like three times in a row now. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and test it one more time. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build it. Um, now this would be pretty useful um, if you had one leading down to like your mine, and then you know you'd throw all your items in here. Let's go ahead and try to throw a whole bunch of stuff in there already. Let's see, so I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. I'm just gonna get a stack of a whole bunch of items, and we'll see how this uh, how this thing that I've put together, this little system, uh, handles it. So obviously you wouldn't really have these uh, when you're mining, but you know whatever. Same thing. So I'm just going to throw all those in there, and uh, then I'm going to cover that up and flip the switch. Of course you could use a button on this as well, but uh, yeah. It's going to go up, and let's see if we have everything. Uh, I have nothing but, or okay, now I have nothing in my inventory. We do that? Wow. Uh, is that everything that I had? I believe that was everything that I had. Um, so pretty awesome. Um, and very uh, reliable. So let's go on over here and I'll show you how to make it. Alright so before we start here I'm just gonna tell you guys a little something. Uh, I honestly uh, do not know much about redstone. Um, I mean I've been fooling around with this for probably the past three hours and now that I finally got it I want to show it with you guys. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the most efficient way of uh, wiring everything but it's something that I found that works and is a uh, pretty uh, compact uh, for you know all that stuff um, but anyways what you're gonna start out with is you're gonna have one one little block in the center alright this is um pretty much gonna be like the little shoot that your items go up alright and each piston is going to push a, uh, a block this could be any block I'm just using wool um, I guess not any block it can't be um, like bedrock or obsidian obviously uh, and it also can't be glass. Another thing to note, let's go ahead and just test this out right now. Because um, I want to show you guys this, it's pretty important. Um, I can't go in there. Alright, so if we were to throw a piece of redstone in there. Right now I have this facing, uh, facing I believe this is east and west. Um, if we go ahead and just press shift F3, you'll notice that the F uh, coordinates, I can't point to it with my mouse obviously, um, but the F coordinates right here, uh, is one and then over here it's three alright um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this what this does if we activate the piston the item just gets stuck in there well that that's not exactly what we want to happen is it um, so uh, that just goes to show that this elevator is directional um, meaning that it depends uh, what direction that you um, that you have it facing uh, for it to work so basically, if we go ahead and put down another lever here, and throw in a piece of redstone and we activate the lever, you'll notice that the item pops up. Um, this is because uh, this only works on uh, the F of 2 and the F of 0. Um, and I believe that's north and south, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so that just goes to show that you have to be careful um, about which way you place it. Um, now let's go ahead and start off everything with just placing our pistons down. Now uh, we want them alternating, so we want run one right here, and then we don't want one right here, and we want one right there. Um, so an easy way to do this is just go up your uh, little thing, place one, and then another, and delete the one in the middle. Um, so hopefully I'm explaining to the, this to you guys uh, well enough so that you understand. Not exactly the best uh, at explaining things, but I'll go ahead and try for you guys. Um, so we just have that, and I think that's the highest that we're going to put it. Next, you want to put all the blocks on the sides, 
um, like on all four sides of uh, where you're gonna have the items. I'm going to use blue. And blue. Oops, I got rid of that and I didn't want to. Alrighty. Um, now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put one in front. And we're going to put one in back. And I could probably get rid of this uh, F3 thing, can't I? I just realized it was there. Um, the next thing that I like to do, if you noticed over here, is I fill in the gaps between the pistons. Um, just to make it look nice. And obviously you could like make this whole thing a wall, um, but just so I could show you guys, I'm just leaving it kind of open. Alright, so now that we have that, you should have something that looks like this uh, at this point in this process. Uh, if that makes any sense to you guys whatsoever. <laughs> um, the next thing that I like to do is I like to color code. Um, basically, um, you're going to have a block that is right next to... Let's start over here since this is at the very bottom. You're going to have a block that is right next to the piston that you want to be powered. And in front of this block, you're going to have your uh, two uh, redstone repeaters set to a max full... Uh, however many ticks that is, I believe it's four. Four tick delay. Um, so that when you activate it, like so, there you go. Um, and the way that this is going to work is the blocks are obviously going to be alternating since you only have um, every other piston on one side. Um, so I just kind of color code them. In this case, the purple blocks are going to be the ones that I want to be power powering. And then the light blue are going to be the ones that I don't really care about. Alright, so let's go ahead and just fill that in. And there we go. Pretty simple, right? Um, now what you're going to do to start off first is, uh, like I said, you have two redstone repeaters set to a max of four delay. Um, or however however many that is, I don't know. I should have probably checked before I made this video, but whatever. And you're just going to set those to a max of four delay as well. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have one repeater set to a max delay and then you're going to run your redstone um, from here and this is pretty much going to be what um, powers your like what it's pretty much going to be the on off switch for your elevator um, so I'm just going to put that right there and then a lever so we have one and then we have the other Was it this to a max delay? yes alright on to the next thing now what we want to do is we want to have these signals travel up. Um, so basically what I did here is I made these two separate signals. So each one is kind of on its own time and I just stagger them. That way it goes one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. Um, so in order to do this we're going to work with one side at a time. Now basically um, instead of using a whole bunch of other um, redstone repeaters and whatnot, we could take the signal that is applied right from this block and we could put it into a redstone signal. And then we then have to bring it up to here, which we are going to have two more redstone repeaters on a full delay. And then we're just going to bring this signal up, like so. And then with our redstone, we can go ahead and connect it. Alright, so what this should do at this point is if we hit this lever, it should hit that one, and that one, and not that one. Oh. Duh, powering the wrong thing, guys. Make sure you're powering the right uh, block that you want to power. Um, there we go. Now what I should do is I should block that part out, but uh, oh well. I make mistakes just like anyone else does. So now when I turn this on, it goes that one, and then that one, and then that one. Pretty simple, right? Now what we could do over here is we do pretty much the same thing. Uh, just going to start on the outside and we're going to get the signal that travels from this block and we're going to make it go into this block right here, which I want to have one below. Remember that. Very important. Oops. Messing up. Alright. So now with our redstone, we can just go ahead and place it like so. And then with our repeaters, one and two on a full delay. Now what this should do is it should activate these four pistons. One, two, three, and then four. Awesome. 
So that's pretty much the um, basic of what we do here. Now, uh, this is probably the reason why it took me so long to figure out what I was trying to do is I was trying to have it all on one side. So basically I would take the signal from this block and put it into this block and then take it from this side on this block and put it up to the next one. Uh, that doesn't really work because you run into some crossing of the redstone wires problem and whatnot. Um, so what we do is we take it from the other side. Um, so basically you just do the same thing. Gonna bring the signal up and bam, you have one repeater set to full delay and then another repeater set to a full delay. And then you run your redstone all the way down here. So hopefully we did this right. There we go. And uh, then of course we do the same thing on the other side. We take this signal that is coming from this block right here, bring it up, and put it into this block right here with two repeaters. Again, set the full delay. Hopefully you guys know this by now. And then we have our redstone like so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. All right, so we just have three more pistons to do this for, and I'm just gonna do it real quickly for you guys. Uh, let's see, so. That's going into this block. I want the signal to come from here. And I want it to go into here. There we go. And then from this block, I want it to come from here. And go into this block right here. Yep. There we go. So we have this side done. Now let's do the other side. Um, so from this side of the block, I want this uh, this signal to go up to the next one. Oops. Get our redstone, and it's getting dark. Lovely. And uh, bam. I believe that's it. Um, now, of course, what I did is I just made like a little platform. Obviously, you would have some type of stairs, but who needs stairs when you can fly? Am I right? <laughs> um, so let's just make sure we did this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we had the last one up here that went off as well. Um, so as you saw on that other one right there, um, I had one on the top that pushed it forward. Um, well, this is pretty simple. I mean, it's nothing too difficult. Uh, hopefully if you've kept up with the video uh, so far at this point you should know how. You just simply put another piston, surround it by blocks. I don't believe the ones on top are necessary but they make it look pretty. And then from uh, the last signal that goes off, which is this one because it's the one on the top, we're going to take our um, redstone signal right here. Of course this is a little bit difficult. Um, I'm just going to show you over here because that would need a few more repeats uh, in order to go. But obviously what I did over here is this one into here, and uh, it just so happened that I, the next signal that I would pull from would be from this side of the block, which made it a lot easier. However, on that one it's a little more difficult because I didn't do it as, much, as many times. Um, but you know, you could easily find out a way around that. Um, let's see what you would do. Let's see. Interesting. Mm -hmm -hmm. Um, well, yeah, what you would do is you would just take the signal from this block right here. You would bring it over. and then down. Alrighty. So obviously this is kind of an inefficient way of doing things, but that's what happens when you have to take the long way. And uh, I'm just going to put one repeater right there on full delay. So now hopefully when we do this, got that one. There we go. Now let's go ahead and shut it off and see this whole thing in action. Alrighty.
I'm just going to place a few items here. It's a whole bunch of diamond ore. Uh, and I do have 64 of them right there. I'm going to seal that back up. And you can make this... Uh, actually, no, I'm not sure if you can make this a door or not. Um, like I said, I was trying to make it uh, glass right here. That way you could see everything, but glass um, doesn't behave like normal blocks. Let's go up here and wait for our stuff. Looks like it's all there. And bam, we have 64 diamond ore, the exact same amount that we put into the bottom of the system. So, uh, this has been Drawing at 1313 on a little tutorial about how to do this uh, item elevator that I made. Um, it could be used for a few things. Um, obviously, you could pretty much use the same wiring um, to do a person elevator. You just make these stairs. And you can, you know, do each alternating stair. That would work as well. Um, but, you know, just to sum everything up, basically you have one signal. Um, you split it into two separate ones. That way you could have these ones uh, operating by themselves, just uh, uh, kind of staggered. So it's one and then the other and then the other and then the other. And then it's just a matter of having the signal uh, travel upwards uh, in a vertical fashion. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you uh, you like my little design that I came up with. Like I said, I'm not all that uh, good at redstone. To be honest, I don't really like using redstone. Uh, if you see my Let's Play, I usually use mods, and uh, this would be a lot easier. I'll just use, you know, I don't know, some laser thing and make it go up. But I wanted to do this. Um, thank you to Generic B um, for, you know, giving me this idea uh, to build this. He, he mentioned in one of his... Uh, uh, his proof of concept videos, uh, which I thought was very awesome, by the way. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much where I got this idea from, in case you didn't know. Um, so again, this has been Drawing at 1313 on a tutorial about how to do an item elevator in Minecraft. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you join me next time. Till then, I'll see you.